All right, everyone, welcome back. This is WX Ninja. Uh, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. Updating Hurricane Dorian again. Um, as you can see, the radar loop here, very powerful hurricane. Uh, I was looking at this radar loop, made a little bit of a southerly jog, not too much, but right there at the end, if you watch, you can see it dip down a little bit, that eye wall, just kind of wobbling. And it's staying over land here, um, over water as well as land. So I don't think he's going to strengthen it, but it's not going to allow it to weaken that much. I don't know how hilly this terrain is, but uh, probably not very hilly. As you can see, we zoom out a little bit here. It's getting some of these outer bands They're starting to really get into the uh, the coast here of uh, Florida. And they're going to start impacting Florida here. As this thing just continues and continues, turn off to the west. Maybe a slight south as well. Uh, if so, not much. But the bigger problem is it's going west further than the models originally had it initialized. This thing is, is it's going to get close to this coast over here. Um, so here's the latest 12 a.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time, 100, uh, 80 mile an hour hurricane pressure, 914 moving west at 6 miles an hour. I bet we see the winds and the pressure come down here, uh, maybe within the next hour. I uh, was report, just because it is going over land, it's over here now a little bit. Take a look at the other map here. It's another radar loop. Uh, let's check out this station like we do. So there it is, 55 mile an hour sustained winds, gusts probably in the 70s or 80s. Uh, as it gets closer to that eye. So we'll keep an eye on that down here in Alice Town. They're still quant pretty pretty weak. Not really wind at all. Probably picked up when that one cell moved through. And you see another tornado warning there. One there, one there. That's a radar indicated tornado. This means the conditions according to the radar are really good for a tornado to touch down in that area. Uh, whether or not one did, uh, we don't know. So, it's just getting closer and closer to east coast of Florida here. Not a good situation. You see some of these outer bands. Um, they're starting to starting to make their way on shore here in Florida. And this will just continue. You know, as this, as this churns closer and closer... Uh, we'll see. Loop broke there a little bit, it looks like. There we go. Let's see what kind of winds they're getting now. Still 55, it's saying, out of the northwest. I would have to think that's probably going to go up. We'll see how high it goes. That, that station may go offline soon as this eye wall gets closer and closer. Uh, you know, it's glitching in and out. I'm trying to see if this had a time stamp on it, but it doesn't. Um, let's look at the graph, see when it last updated. So it's still staying current. That's 1.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Temperature and dew point are both going up. A little surprising on the temperature and dew point, I'm not. So yeah, it's staying steady at 55 miles an hour. Uh, here's that path. They keep updating this, and it keeps getting further and further west. Again, this storm is not here. It's uh, a little more over like here. So you can kind of shift all this a little over. hate to say it, but there's going to be an impact, I think, uh, definitely in the Carolinas. But if not, over here on the, the eastern coast of Florida, it's looking more and more likely. So these are all the Cat 5 hurricanes that have hit uh, their, their past since 1924. I just thought that was kind of interesting. You see a lot of them do make their way into the Gulf across the Caribbean. Uh, here's Dorian up here. Here's kind of its path. Uh, obviously now it's over in here. So we'll see. I mean, they've skirted the coast. Um, 
Some of them have, you know, like whatever one this one is. It came over the Bahamas and then shot off to the east. Uh, but with Dorian over here, I mean, there is still time for it to turn east, but it's running out of time. This hasn't been updated, um, but this is all the current uh, hurricane warnings and watches and uh, tropical warnings and watches still the same. As I mentioned last time, just anyone on this east coast here in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, hmm, just watch out. Uh, I would get the heck out of the way because this thing is not behaving like the models originally said. Um, you know, there it is. This is a little bit older of a picture, but it's the water vapor loop, and you can see those outer bounds are now hitting because uh, this is forward. You know, it's more over, more over in here. Definitely impacting the coast there. There's a broader view of the of the hurricane itself. Again, it's a little further over here. Uh, maybe not much on this image. Getting real close there. I mean, I don't know how many miles that is, but it's getting close. And you look up in here, and it's affecting it's affecting the way things are behaving for sure. Um, this is a page that would not load. There's just probably too many people looking at it. Let's see if it loads now. But you can just see very, very large hurricane. Cat five, the strongest you can have. Like I said, I think the uh, I think the pressure will go up. I think the winds will die down, but you know maybe ten mile an hour. Just because it went over land, uh, it's gonna weaken it just a little bit. We don't know how much, obviously yet, but we'll see once we get that next update here in the next couple of hours. I imagine, uh, if not the 2 a.m. Eastern update, and maybe the 3 a.m. Eastern update. Look at there! Look at those showers that are firing off down here. If you're watching the last couple loops, uh, just watch this area right in here. I see some big ones over here fire too. Look at that. Just very powerful. It's got a lot of inflow, a lot of outflow. Very, very healthy storm. It's breathing well. Man, that eye wall is just intense. Uh, this is not what you want to see if you live in, in Florida. Uh, now it's shifting over to the infrared view. So you see some of that red go away as it's been over the island. Just a little bit, but if you look on that eastern part, boy, it's bubbling up out there. The southeastern quadrant of the storm. Yeah, it's just churning along there. That land is weakening it. You can see that, so that's good news. But still, I mean, even if it gets down to 160 mile an hour winds, that's that's devastating and then you have all this area uh, in between here from the side wall once wherever it pops out over this island it's gonna have some room right here the waters are still warm they'll probably get cooler once you get up here but not much so just a dangerous dangerous situation um, we'll check this one more time here uh, still 55 it probably hasn't updated it might have gone offline See the wind bar move a little bit there. Get more than a northerly component to the wind there. So, what you don't want to see is these outer, this outer part of the hurricane when the solid rain. I mean, the bands are bad enough, but you definitely don't want to see any of this solid getting over here to the coast. But it just keeps inching this way closer and closer. Let's check here in Palm Beach. Still no wind. I thought maybe they'd be seeing something with, uh, excuse me, some of these showers coming on shore, but I mean, there's a seven that's nothing to write home about. So that's the latest there. I appreciate everyone stopping by. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated here. Keep an eye on this thing and just very, very powerful hurricane. Can't stress that enough. Uh, let's check one last thing. Let's check in here. Doesn't really show up. Must be just those miscellaneous bands coming ashore. I thought maybe there was some enhancement in this. Uh, sorry, in this area. 
it's showing up on radar, but that must be that right there coming down. Maybe that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's uh, the wave heights are increasing along this coast and, and coastal erosion. You know, it's just happening right now, and uh, it's going to continue. Uh, let's check one last thing here, because there is an area of disturbance here in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, I don't know if the radar is going to even pick it up now. You can see it over here, though, and uh, it's just sitting there, right here. It's kind of meandering. So hopefully that dies down. Obviously the sun's gone down, so that's helping weaken this a little bit. But we'll see. We also got this other area I mentioned, really high probability of it developing. And we got this one coming off the coming off the coast here, tropical wave maybe. This one's gonna head off the sea, so no worries about that one. But all eyes are on Dorian right now. I'm gonna keep at it here for a little while longer, and uh, I'll update you guys when I get some more. Uh, again, if you if you uh, want to get updates as soon as I post a video, just subscribe and hit that bell icon. You'll get notified as soon as I get a video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. I'm going to include all that same information I've been including for you guys. Um, that way you can uh, donate or, or look at evacuations and whatnot. So thank you for stopping by. This is WX Ninja. We'll see you in the next one.